Welcome back to another episode of Gamer Zero, where we spread that gaming truth like a virus. I'm your host, T. Hill. So, you know, you saw the title. This is all about Infamous 2's demo impressions, Darksiders, and what I thought about the trailer. And my brief little touch on E3, since it's the last little bit, and, you know, the PlayStation Vita. So let's hop right on in. Infamous 2, demo impressions, that shit's the business. Um, I know it's an older build. I'm totally aware of that. Everything's been improved. Frame rate runs butter smooth. It's 30 versus 60. It's 60 frames versus 30. And the original, it was 30 frames a second. Now it's 60 frames a second. It's hot sexiness. The lighting is better. The character models are better. The landscape full feels so much more alive. Your attacks and movements feel so much more organic. The combat feels 10 times more impactful. Um, a lot of people I've been reading online say uh, the melee system uh, feels kind of broken and that it kind of throws you off. Yes, I'm talking to you, Euro Eurogamer. Um, I played through the just the demo four times. I spent like two hours on just one playthrough yesterday. Uh, bullshit. I'm calling you guys out. You're full of it. Uh, if you suck at action adventure hack and slash games, then yeah, you, the camera angle could be a problem. Um, but it's not. It's actually not. Actually, you can see everything you need to see who you're attacking. It's not like you're going to be getting hit from the back. Um, so that's completely shut down. Um, some people said that camera's a little wonky. I think what it is, and this is just my personal opinion, uh, you know, I haven't had hands on with the final build. But I think what it is, is it's just faster than what people are used to in a sandbox game, which this thing runs blistering fast for a sandbox game. Super smooth, just every little bit is uh, detailed in full life. The characters, the way the traffic flows, everything and numeray seems top, top, top notch. So if you haven't had a chance, go download Infamous 2 off of the um, PSN. Check it out, that bad boy is sexy, sexy, sexy fire. So, moving along, Darksiders 2, the trailer dropped. Yes! Yes, son! Yes! That shit is sexy, you gotta play as death. Rain down destruction and rush to with my fiery death sickles. That shit is hot. Alright, so now that I'm like up to here, you know, it's gonna probably be at E3. Uh, totally pumped. Hope you guys checked out uh, the episode of Gamers 4 on 1 where I briefly touch on my sexiness for this game. Uh, Darksiders 2, it, it doesn't pick up uh, after, it doesn't take place before, it actually takes place the same time um, as Darksiders 1. Uh, we all knew that if you've been following the game and you, you know where the franchise is going. There's only one apocalypse, they made it very clear. Uh, so you're actually playing through the same time frame which is 100 years uh, as death, and you get to experience it, and you're actually trying to uh, save war from being doomed forever, uh, or from, you know, death or whatever, which is weird because you're death. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But they, it, from, what I, from what I read, there's a full RPG kind of element in the background. What I mean by that is armor upgrades, weapon upgrades, loot drop system, so they're taking what they did in part one and they're expanding on it. And what they said was, the first one was kind of compared to like God of War and uh, Zelda. They said, we're going to make this one more dark cider ish What that means is more sick is sexy, 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 loving time time. Uh, no, it, it's hot and they're just going to really pump forward. THQ is going to add more, you know, uh, Vigil Games is going to add so much more to make it feel more dark cider like which just means more of what you experience in part one on a bigger scale. They said the levels are going to be bigger, the dungeons, the world's going to be bigger, uh, more complex and variety to the dungeons and to the combat experience, which if you guys played part one, which I know a lot of people who watch my stuff probably have, uh, there was very good pacing. You never felt like you're doing too much of one thing for any uh, period of time. Uh, whenever you feel like you've gotten too much of anything, they always switch it up on you. And if they're going to follow with that exact same mechanic, and just give you more of it and more variety and that's gonna be a day one so they said it's uh, fiscal year 2012 which is beginning of next year I think it goes to uh, sorry camera I think that goes to end of May ish March no March I believe is ends 
I'm, I'm thinking it's going to drop beginning in um, January, February time frame, kind of like the, the first one did. Uh, so hopefully that's the case. That's six, seven months away. Not too long, but, you know, uh, hopefully we'll get to see a lot of it at E3 and get our hands on. So Darksiders 2, THQ, Vigil Games, bringing that fire. Go check out the trailer. Uh, it's up on, like, Game Trailers and uh, Game Informer, which... By the way, it's also going to have a 10-page spread in the July issue of Gameformers. So go check that out. It actually comes out and hits stands, I believe, June 7th, which is the day after E3 starts, or the day of E3 starts. I think it's a, I think that's a Tuesday. Yeah, I believe it's Tuesday. So go check it out. It'll be on the stands. Go pick it up. So keep it along with you know, the vibe. Um, E3. Yeah, my last little prediction is apparently rising. I ain't going to be there. A little sad, broken up, more like kind of pissed off because I really wanted to see rising. Um, no confirmations about Versus 13 making any kind of presence, which I, I don't know what these companies are doing, but these are their big dogs. They showed them off, and now they're missing a whole E3. And that, I, I know like Kojima made a little comment about they're preparing for next year. Uh, nothing really from like school. SE about what they're doing with Versus 13. Kind of sad that I'm not hearing anything. Hopefully it's going to be a surprise. Um, you know, when I'm there at the event and, you know, there's so many good games. Uncharted 3, we, we were just shown the co-op, like, experience, which I'm sure is going to be playable at some fashion, in some fashion at E3, because, um, you know, Sony's going to have their huge event. Nintendo, you know, they really haven't been talking too much. Um, Project Cafe, still kind of mums on what's going on with that. Microsoft, there's a leak or a rumored leak about how they're really going to be doing kind of what they did last year with the ESPN and taking it to the next level with like pretty much being a cable kind of provider straight out your uh, Xbox through like Xbox Diamond, I guess was what they're uh, rumored to be calling it. So curious to see that if that's the case. And if it's price, priced right, where AKA cheaper than my, my damn cable, um, and can give me as much if not more content, uh, it looks like I'll be buying a 360 if that's the case. But that's just for the multimedia kind of avenue. Um, yeah, you know that's going on. NGP, we're seeing a lot about it. There's a point where actually I saw some screenshots of uh, Uncharted: Golden Abyss, I think is what it's called. Uh, and I was like, man, you know, Uncharted 3 is coming along really well. And I'm like, look, I'm like, oh, 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 snaps. That, that's NGP, son. The graphics are sexy, sexy fire. But wait a minute, NGP. Oh, I mean, Vita, or it's Vita, I believe is how my buddy, uh, it's like, um, Italian for life. Uh, curious to see what that means, how they're going to market it, uh, you know. Again, go check out the Gamers Forum One Crew's last podcast. Um, it's up now on hiphopgamershow.com, on iTunes, on Twitter, so on the Facebook. You can check it out in any one of those spots. Um, we touched on it briefly, what the rumors and speculations are about it. I personally, that name is kind of growing on me, and maybe after their marketing campaign, it will, it will like seal the deal. Um, still like NGP, something about that kind of sounds sexy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, brief episode. You know, I'm pumped. So, you know, I'll be tweeting like Matt all E3 time frame. Boom, iPhone. Um, I'll be getting footage for when I come back. I'll be doing my road to E3 video and my road, my return, uh, my post E3 video. Uh, me, Hung Fat, and hopefully, you know, Nick McKinless. Uh, hopefully I said it. I, I'm horrible at names. So, uh Nick from the Gamer Access, you know, uh, want to do a podcast with him. Again, he was on this last episode, but we want to do a post E3 kind of thing. And, you know, just hang out with the boys. Do it up at E3. Hip Hop Gamer is going to be in the building, and I'm going to be rolling with him and Hum Fizzle. So let's get it popping. Check me out on hiphopgamershow.com. On Twitter, it's T underscore Hill Zero. Or if you want to game with me online, it's T dash Hill. All right, I'm out. Peace.